Sometimes two things seem to be made for each other, like Oprah Winfrey and book recommendations, or Donald Trump and criminal cases. Another example is Saturn and its rings. When you think of the planet Saturn, you probably picture it with rings around it. Saturn's rings are one of the most iconic features in the solar system. But what if we told you that the rings will soon disappear, within a few months actually, in 2025? Why will this happen? Why does it matter? And what are Saturn's rings made of? Our next report tells you. This is Saturn, and it's famous for two reasons. One, it is a gas giant. It is the lightest planet in our solar system. And second, it has these iconic rings. When you think of Saturn, you can't really picture it without them. There are seven main rings that we know of and they are an icy burial zone. Not for aliens, but for crushed comets, asteroids and moons. These rings are vast. They extend over 281,000 kilometers. But compared to the planet's size, they are paper thin. Their height is typically only about 10 meters and they're relatively young. Saturn is a 4.5 billion year old planet, but the rings formed only about 400 million years ago. And when did humans first find out about them? Well, in 1610, when these rings were first observed by the famous astronomer Galileo. That may have been a long time ago, but stargazers today have only about six months to catch a sight of these hoops, because they are set to disappear in 2025. We aren't making this up. NASA has confirmed this. So why are they so calm about it? Because this disappearing act is not apocalyptic. It's simply a Saturning point in planetary alignment, pardon the pun. It's a matter of simple physics. Here's how. Both Earth and Saturn travel around the Sun, but on their respective orbital paths and at a different tilt. So Saturn is not in perfect alignment with Earth. Last year, it was tilted at a 9-degree angle, so we had a really good view of the rings. This year, the tilt is decreasing to an angle of about 3.7 degrees. So, it's getting harder to spot the rings. By next year, in March, the degree will reduce further. The rings will appear side to side with Earth, so they will completely vanish from view. Basically, the rings will technically not disappear, but we won't be able to see them due to an optical illusion. And this isn't the first time. This phenomenon occurs like clockwork roughly every 13 to 16 years. Scientists caught it in 1995. Just before the rings disappeared, this is how thin they looked. Again, the phenomenon took place in 2009. And now, it's due to happen in March next year. Many call this phenomenon the Saturn Ring Plane Crossing Day. As wordy as the name is, the phase is important for us. It's a rare opportunity to learn more about the planet. Devoid of its rings, we can get a good look at the planet. And just because we can't view the rings doesn't mean we can't learn more about them. Saturn has 146 moons, the most in the solar system. Astronomers discovered at least 13 of them during ring plane crossings, including the famous Titan, Enceladus and Mimas, also known as the Death Star. So for scientists, this disappearance is a stroke of cosmic luck, even if they can't see it.